Hey, welcome back to Weeby Kids again. On one of my walks over the hills, there is a willow tree that I pass by. And on the first of the month, for each month of the last year, I've been taking a picture of that tree to try and see how it changes over the seasons. And I got that idea from a story that is in this book, and it's called Buddha at Bedtime. And it's the story that I'm going to share with you this week. And this story is called The Princesses and the King Shook Tree. So this story is about four princesses who lived in a grand, grand palace. And these princesses loved nature. They had spent all of their childhood playing out in the forest. They knew the name of every tree. They knew the scent of every flower. They also knew the taste of every delicious fruit and they especially knew that feeling that you get in your heart when you spend all day out in the woods. So one day the four princesses were in the palace gardens and they were talking to the palace gardener and they were surprised to hear from the palace gardener about a magical tree in the woods. The gardener said to them, yes, there is a magical tree in the woods called the Kingshook tree. Now the princesses were shocked. They thought they knew every single tree in the forest, but none of them had seen the Kingshook tree. So they pleaded with the gardener to take them to see it. And the gardener agreed. But he said to them that the tree is magic because it can only be seen on the person's birthday. So he said, if I take you, I will have to take you one at a time. So they all agreed. And they also decided that it was only fair that the eldest of the princesses should go first. So on one beautiful, warm spring morning, the gardener met with the eldest princess. And he walked her out into the forest until they arrived at a huge glade. And there in the middle of the glade was the kingshook tree. Now the gardener couldn't see it, of course, because it wasn't his birthday. But the eldest princess stood in amazement. This tree was like a weeping willow with long slender branches. And on the end of each branch were beautiful green leaves that were unfurling to the sunshine. Each one looking like a precious emerald. And the eldest princess looked at the tree. She said, it's so beautiful. This tree just filled my heart with joy. Thank you, gardener, for bringing me to see the kingshook tree. And together they turned and they walked off. And as they walked off, the gardener said to the eldest princess, please don't tell your other sisters what the tree looks like. Therefore, it will be a surprise to them too. So she agreed. And then on a warm summer's morning, when the sun was high in the sky, the gardener met the second princess. And together they walked through the garden and down into the forest to the big open glade. And the gardener stepped back. Again, he couldn't see anything. But the second princess gazed up in amazement. The tree was filled with big, beautiful red flowers. Oh, she said, those flowers are so wonderful. They look like huge rubies. This tree is just making my heart fill with wonder. Thank you, gardener, for bringing me to see the magic kingshook tree. And together they walked off and again the gardener said to the princess, please don't tell your sisters, for I want it to be a surprise for them too. And she agreed. Until one autumn day, the gardener met the third princess. He walked her through the garden, into the forest, to the big glade. And there he stood back and the third princess looked up. Wow, she said. The whole tree was covered with huge, big, purple, plump fruits that were hanging like amethyst. Wow, she said, 
look at what this tree has to offer. It is filling my heart with gratitude. And together they turned and walked off. And again, the gardener said, please don't tell your sister, for I want it to be a surprise for her too. And on a cold, chilly winter's morning, when it was still dark, the gardener met with the youngest of the princesses. They walked through the gardens and into the forest. And as they entered, the sun was just coming up. They stood in the glade and the gardener stepped back and the youngest of the princesses looked on with amazement. What she saw was a bare tree, but each of the branches was covered in silver frost with frozen dewdrops that looked like diamonds. Wow, said the fourth princess. This tree fills my heart with magic. Thank you for bringing me here, gardener. And the gardener turned and they walked off. And later that day, the four princesses were playing together off in the gardens when they saw the gardener. And they all ran over to thank the gardener for taking them to see the kingshook tree. And the eldest of the princesses went up to him first and said, Gardener, I just want to thank you for showing me the kingshook tree. All year that beautiful vision of green emerald leaves have stayed with me. And as she spoke, the second princess looked at her. She said, you must be mistaken. The tree didn't have green emerald leaves. It had big, beautiful, ruby red flowers. And then the third princess looked. She said, no, the two of you must be mistaken. The tree didn't have green emerald leaves or red ruby flowers. The tree had big, beautiful, purple fruit that was like amethyst. And then the final princess said, no, you must all have it wrong. You see, the tree didn't have green emerald leaves or red ruby flowers or amethyst purple fruits. The tree was completely bare. All that it had on its branches was a silver lining of frost with dewdrops that looked like diamonds. Now, had the princesses been a bit more argumentative, all kinds of trouble could have happened. But they weren't, and they all thought for a moment. And then the gardener stepped in, and he said, Princesses, you are all correct. All of your birthdays are in different seasons. The tree does have green emerald leaves and ruby red flowers and amethyst fruit and diamond dewdrops. The tree reminds us as the one constant thing in nature, and that is that everything is always changing. So you all got to see the tree in a different light. And then the princesses realised. They all looked at each other and chuckled. And then they looked back at the gardener again and thanked him one more time. So I hope you enjoyed that story. It's a nice little story about the changing seasons with a lovely little message as well. And that idea that everything in nature is always changing. One thing that we love to do, to do is go out into nature and to notice all of the changes. It's a really, really nice mindful activity to do. And when, off, when you go off into the woods, there is never a dull moment when you're always trying to identify what has changed. Sometimes it could be a new leaf or a new flower, or it could even be that the wind has blown the leaves around. So when you go out into nature on your next walk, also have a think about the changes that you see all around you. Another lovely message that comes with that story as well is the idea that we can't see the whole picture just by ourselves. Sometimes we see something and we think it has to be a certain way because that is the way that we perceived it. 
But what this story teaches us is that real wisdom comes when we listen to each other and we get everybody's perspectives and we're able to see the world in a fuller and more rounded way. So I hope you enjoyed that story. Thanks for stopping by at Weeby Kids and we'll see you again sometime soon. Bye!